She's yeah. beautiful, funny. Oh, you yeah. know. We really get along well, and I really like her. Okay. Except for one thing. Oh boy. She is a horrible kisser. Kissing is a really important part of any relationship, and church. I kind of take a more uh, simple and surgical approach to French kissing. So surgical. Patrick Bateman, <laughs> dude. Runk. <laughs> Dude, it's Lifeline. It's Lifeline. Wow. Well, the good? worst starting of any Seriously, show we've ever done. Real, it's real Lifeline. Rad. It's Lifeline. Why do people say they hate Arrowhead water so much? Dude, they say I don't that know. The they time. say it's trash water. People act like it's trash water. Like it's, it's like Aquafina or something. Yeah, Whereas Aquafina is trash water. You know how I know that? Because I one time accidentally threw a big piece in one of those big trash bins. A big piece of what? Just a big oh, a furniture. Big thing, right? Yeah. A big furniture. <laughs> And I threw it, and I don't know if this is dumb that I didn't think about this uh -huh. ahead of time or whatever, but I felt real dumb. Okay. I didn't, like, very quickly turn my head. You didn't very or quickly have, turn Or have head? a mask on, yeah. Oh, okay. So what happened is it went in, yeah. and just all this detritus of, like, years years worth of garbage, however years long. Years worth? Was. Well, the bin's been there for, like, fucking years. But... And there's shit oh, all over okay. the bottom of it, it that God knows when the last time God. it was like cleaned. God. And it just comes just oh, and it went God. in my face. I oh. almost threw up for like three or four days. I was like, oh, the no. memory of it was like, this is disgusting. Anyway, that's what Aquafina tastes oh. like. So because that's what Aquafina tastes like, well, I you know, know that's what Aquafina tastes Because like. I've tasted both. Oh, yeah. that's what it tastes like? Yeah, yeah. Trash water. Oh my god, that's so gross. There's like a metallic trash taste that I get when I drink aqua. No, oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, Dasani. They're the same. Okay, well yeah. that explains it then. Yeah. Now, why is your, um, why did you not know to not move your face? That's weird. When you first asked me about what I meant when I said that. It sounded like you were like confused as to why I would have thought to do that. No, I, no, 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 no. That's why I asked you. Cause I'm like, well, surely this is not what you mean. Cause you would turn your face. Right, I didn't though. I didn't. And I paid the fucking price, dude. Fargrafin price. So Sorry, did you think that. you were going to die? <laughs> no, 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 no. It did go in my eyes and nose though. It was like in my body. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like a, a whiff I caught. Ew, it was like, dude. it got in me. You know what I mean? Wow, that's disgusting. It was, uh, in fact, just thinking about it, I'm like really. Wow, yeah, yeah. So wait, so that t that you feel like that's what a hint of Dasani water tastes like? like yeah, correct. Yeah. Wow. And have you had you had Dasani before that? Yes. I've so when it. it hit you, were you like, that's like Dasani water? On the stand, dude. Such <laughs> a lawyer right now. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, when it hit me, no, 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 no. Not until the next time I had it. Dasani was I triggered? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, that's hilarious. Yeah. Dasani. And Aquafina are... I, are they really the same thing? Well, now? I don't like, know if they're the same thing. I think one's by Coca-Cola. Okay. Maybe they both are. But Everything's by Coca-Cola. But this, Sprite's by Coca-Cola. Dasani is the worst one, I would say. Okay. Aquafina is bad. Anything other than those two are fine. I don't yeah. have... Like, I don't, you know what? You know what, dude? And some people are like, dude, yes. And some people are like, what? I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh -huh. If you drink a bottle of Fiji water... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It it smells mm -hmm. doesn't taste like, mm -hmm. but the smell is th that of very strong paint. It smells like a fucking paint store when they're mixing paint right in front of your schnozeronski, dude. I'm telling you. <laughs> okay. It is so when you lift it up, you smell it. That's what it smells like, but it doesn't taste like that. Take the top off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the top down. Don't need, bring don't the bottle that. with your. Arm and hand, to be bring so them both close to your mouth. Mm -hmm. As it gets closer and closer, you think, mm -hmm. oh, where are people painting things? Then when you get it close to your mouth, you think, oh, this bottle was formerly used as a paint can. And then you drink it. And when you remove the bottle, you realize, oh, it's not the water at all. Mm. It's the thing I just put in my face, which is plastic, which is a Fiji bottle of water. Is this from Sher? You go, is this water from Sherwin William? Sherman William. What is it? <laughs> Sher Sher Sherwin. Sherwin. Sherwin William. Right? Schwing. Wow. Is this from Schwing Williams? Too Look, bad. guys, 
<clears throat> this is Lifeline, and uh, this one airs on June 25th, which means I will be in Las Vegas coming up, and I will be in Knoxville and Charlotte and also... Uh, butthead. Uh, uh, butthead. Gosh, I keep saying the F Knoxville. word. Yeah, what, what's wrong with you, man? You know what? What is it? I got a few things wrong with me. I don't know what they are, but I'm working on it, and I'm aware of it, so... Mm. Don't come at me. I will be in Las Vegas. I will be in Charlotte. I will be in Knoxville, Little Rock, Arkansas. That's the one. Uh, Nashville. Can't wait. Calgary, Edmonton, Ottawa, Mon, Montclair. That's what we say, Montreal. But, but Jamaican, we just said Mon. Just Mon. Mon. Hey, Mon. So go to chrislea.com to get those tickets. Um, we have a Patreon here at Lifeline, and we've got some episodes out. Lifeline Luxury, Patreon.com, Lifeline Luxury. That is no video submissions. That's just me and my brother, uh, and they're fun shows. Uh, they're actually some of the funnest. So go on over there and sign up, uh, It's uh, and you can also access the backlogged episodes. We already have a few of them on there. Go to WatchLifeline.com, uh, or leave us a message at the number. and um, if Or you want click a link in the description below. Hey. You could do that too. Yeah. Yeah, true. You could do that. Uh, um, and we've got the hot merch, the Lifeline merch, lifelinemerch.com. And if you really want to get down and dirty into the weeds, into the serious neuroses of the amygdala and such and such, Boring. you can book a one-on-one -on -one advice session with me, your boy, pimpin' pimpin', bad about it, so baby, boring. baby, boring. booyah, booyah, and booyah. The most boring guy. Mattelia.com. So, Thank you very much. Uh, here's the deal. Also, you know what would be great? Leave a comment. Actually, leave a comment. I want to know, because I, I do sometimes look at the YouTube comments. What I want to know what uh, I want to know what turns you on. No, bad. I want to know what, I no. I want to know. No. <laughs> I want to know what waters. Treat me like a dog getting deeper and deeper. <laughs> I want to know what waters. Foreign. You, you, you don't like and what waters. They're all going to say Arrowhead. I, and I know that. I know that. And I get that. Besides yeah. Arrowhead, because I get it. I, I don't understand. I, I genuinely don't. It, I don't I understand. Like, no, no. I like Arrowhead. Yeah. Um, like, I like it on the, on the level that I like Crystal Geyser and Evian, like the good ones, you know? Poland Spring is so good. That's like the arrowhead of, of the East Coast. Poland Spring, Remember regular Poland water. Poland Spring in uh, regular water? No, like I only think of uh, car carbonated. I think of oh, yeah, regular water, yeah. <clears throat> it's uh, um, Poland Spring in New York was what I always drank. Because it tasted the most like Arrowhead. Because they don't have Arrowhead there. All right. When so I lived back in New York. When uh, I lived out in the East Side. My, my, you know, my mind. My heart is in New York. But oh, I believe worst. in New York. And um, no, but so, wait, there was something I else I need wanted. New York, dude. And I said, I believe New York. I knew someone who said, I need New York. Well, that person is terrible. I agree. Yeah. They also went to locking out of high school. Do you know what I mean? Oh, jeez. And then two years later, they're like, oh, I need New York. Oh, that's terrible. And I was like, ah, oh, I need to slap you. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's violence. Yeah. We don't condone that. But no. there is something I wanted to say, and now I don't remember, and I'm pissed. Mm. So so what do we do about that? So I'm pissed. Mm. I am. It was interesting, too. God damn it. Couldn't have been that interesting. No, I hate when people say that. Me too. You know what I hate? I hate when, when they say, that. well, if you can't remember, it wasn't important. Yeah. No, but what? It, You're so wrong about how brains work. When you say that, you like... Mu no, the yeah. person saying okay. it. So insecure. I thought right. I was talking about you. <laughs> Uh, you might as well just say bab -de 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 -bo 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 -de -de because Adam that Sandler. is your level of intelligence. Adam Sandler. Do you know what I mean though? Yeah. You're, you're that dumb. Mm -hmm. So it'd be easier to just go bab bab -de 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 <laughs> Michael Jackson. <laughs> uh, because that is your intelligence level and we'll all understand that that is your intelligence level quicker if you just say yep dip it All right, dude, you know, that's okay. so annoying. <laughs> But it's quicker, you know. I like when people are up front. Okay. It's like when people are like, I'm not. What if when someone when did people are like, I'm not funny. It's like better than someone who makes a joke and expects you to laugh and they're not funny. People that know themselves are better. Well, yeah, of course. So that's why people who are dumb should do that. Nobody really. There are very few people who think they're not funny, which is crazy. I know. Right? Yeah. I'd like but to see them trying to stand up. People think they know what's funny. I'd like though. to see them trying to stand up. I kill it. I kill it. Well, that was too fast what you said. I don't know what it was. I'd like to see him try to stand up. I kill it. I kill it is what I said. Oh. So. Remember, uh, should we talk about it? Or a family member? Oh, how he's good at making bread? No. Oh. No, I mean, that's that would be so boring. Be like, hey, we have a cousin that's amazing at making bread. No. Well, the he, other cousin. That, well, that just happened. Our third cousin. Right, not going to mention that. any names. Don't mention the name, but yeah. Said... Well, you tell the story. It happened to you. I was in a, to me. Why do I? I was in a, We were in a basement. We were in a basement. Were at, you there? Yeah, yeah. You were there. We were celebrating Grandma Dottie's 90th birthday. Oh, that's And everybody went, 
back to where she's, you know, where she lives and we threw this big birthday party and the whole extended family was there. And one of them cornered Chris. Were you there? I was standing right there. Oh, you were, okay. So I was there. I thought I, you weren't there and I was so like, was I gotta one. get out of here. I that gotta was a tell him. Oh wait, I thought you meant on a whole trip. You mean, was I there physically in the space with yes. you? Yes. Yes, I was, yes. So then both is yes. So it doesn't matter to specify. Yeah, but I thought you were talking about a different trip that I actually didn't go on. And I thought maybe you were like, were you there cool. in total? Well, there's no reason to be that mad at me, I'm right? I'm fucking pissed because right. it was obvious. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, um, so, okay. So loud. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be on the microphone, so no one will know, you know. Oh, but it was so loud. It's not good. I'm not crazy. So insecure. So, no, but they'll see your reaction. Yeah. It was good. Well, and they, unless they're just listening to it, which would be the worst. Then it's... They'll see your reaction. Jerking off two guys, <laughs> little, little guys. And it was good. Hey, what's up? <laughs> uh, uh, small people. So um, anyway, a, a third base coach. Why? Oh. <laughs> so. <laughs> Go ahead. Back and forth. I'm giving the sign to the audience. What do I do? So um, they were, we were in a basement. There was like an old, I don't even want to say what family member it was, but it was an older person. Because I don't want to, you know, yeah. in case they listen. Yeah. And she was smoking. I guess we were there for a break. I was down oh, there. I was smoking. You were smoking with me. She was smoking too. That's why we were down there though. I wasn't smoking. I don't smoke. You came with me, man. But but you said you were smoking with me. I, I said was. you were, I was smoking. You were with me is what I said. Now stop said yelling at me and tell the story. I'm not yelling, but so um, she was there and she was smoking and she was like, oh yeah, you were there. Now I remember it. She was like, um, you know, everyone always told me. And one of my dream jobs and what I think I could always do, but it's just like, you know, I, I would always be really good at it. You know what it is? And I was like, wow, well, here it comes. Cause I knew mm -hmm. I said, what? And she goes like this, stand up. Actually what she said was <laughs> the smoking happened, but she yeah. said, stand up comedy stand in up her comedy. thick, in her thick East coast accent. Yeah. <laughs> I'll never forget it, dude. It was really <laughs> wild. I, I like, it's so weird to say I could have done stand-up comedy because you, it's you, insulting too. Well, it's like if I went up to Randy insulting. Johnson and I was like, you know what I could do? Pitch. Yeah, it is insulting. Yeah. But um, or you go up to David Sullivan. You know what I could do? Eat a lot and get fat. You know what I could do? Have the most massive head in the entire universe. It is insulting, but I don't get insulted by it because I don't really. I know. I, but I recognizing get, it's insulting doesn't mean you have to get insulted. Yes, I know. But it, it is in fact insulting. the opposite. It is better. insulting. Yeah. So so but. It, it's so weird because you it, it's it's one of those things that <clears throat> you just you have to it has to be your whole life so it's not even like do you have the talent you you just the reason why you're not a stand-up comic is because you're not a stand-up comic you don't have the drive to do you that also didn't do it. I, I know it's so the that's weirdest. The, the real reason thing. you're not, the biggest reason you're not, is because you never did it. It's the weirdest thing because nobody says like, you know, I could have been a surgeon. <laughs> like it's just it's stand up comedy. That's the thing. Like, I always with, thought I, I could think they do that it. with ent entertainment positions as well. well. Acting, they think that they, they think do, that. but yeah. but yeah, I guess they do. Yeah, they do. Yeah, singer. Yeah, they do. Singer that. for sure. Yeah, to be loved. Oh, wow, wow. what a no, feeling no, no, to no, be loved. No, 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 should we go? Should we do? Yeah, I forget what I was gonna say about the thing. Something about waters, and then something else happened, and I'm pissed off. Doesn't matter. Uh, all right, all right. Let's get into it. Here we go. What's up, you guys? I have a simple but important question for you. I've yes. been tanning Pause recently. It. Yes, at take the that pool. out of your nose. No. At okay. Sorry. Didn't it make might you, be a didn't cultural thing, and now we're racist. All right. Shit, I was racist. Fuck. It's okay. What's up, you guys? I have a simple but important question for you. I've been tanning recently at the pool okay. at my apartment complex. Mm -hmm. Now you can imagine the, uh, <laughs> the commoners yeah. that come on a daily basis and yeah. I'm trying to get my tan on. Right. Now it's come to the point where I have a oh God. huge tan line over down where my package resides. Okay. And mm -hmm. um, I've been pondering getting a Speedo to minimize yep. the amount of uh, blank canvas, if you will. We get it. I mean, the terminology is um, guy. And I'm trying so to good. optimize my tanning gains. So, <laughs> would that be the most cocksuckingest thing I could do, <laughs> or should I get a speedo? Thank you, guys. 
I remember the thing that I was going to say. Wow. Okay. So let's this put a pin in great. that. This co- question is great. I take back the thing about the nose, but I think it looks good on him. It actually does. You look, you look cool. Um, I remember the thing before we get into okay, it. Okay, go ahead. I was at the gym. Okay. I was working out, you know, as I do. My, I was getting my back all nice, something like that, doing squats. Uh, something like that is right, yeah. But I mean, my shit was getting like, I was sweaty because I get into it. Oh, were you getting a Yoki Doodle dandied on your legs? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'll take that joke right from me. Can't really do it anymore. So, but um, that's okay. You know, you win some, you lose some. But that yeah. was more of a tie. So, wow. um, gonna lose sleep over it, you know. So, <laughs> sleeping hasn't been so good lately. But it's so, uh, <laughs> actually, the last two nights were good. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. So, wow. uh, let's reel it in. Let's reel it in. What if I forgot your again? Story at the gym, dude. What Come if on. I forgot again. So, you um, me. I do that all the time. What? I do that all the time. I will be in the middle of saying something, yeah. completely forget what it was, yeah. completely, dude, yeah. and then just be like, okay, in my head, I'm going, okay, it's gone, <laughs> and, then I, and, then I'm, and I'm like, I don't want everybody to know it's gone, yeah. obviously, so I'll just be like, I'll do something like this. It's just, uh, you know? Yeah, oh, wow. You know? And then just pray for rain, you know? Just let people, <laughs> them be like, yes, exactly, you know? Um, and this guy was talking to another guy, walked by me. And said straight up, and it, I did not hear it wrong. He said, "It depends on the different advices he was going to give us." What? Yeah. Was, did you look? It was Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, and I looked, and I was like, "Oh, he's going to turn around and be like, I love the show." Right. Of course. Yeah. Kept walking. Just said it for real. Whoa. Yeah. Isn't that crazy that he walked by me and did that? By the way. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. A, like I heard that. How many like, seconds before you thought it might be for you? No, immediately. Oh, oh, really? Okay. Who the fuck says advices? Well, I mean, Arnold he was, Schwarzenegger was... He was would. American this Oh, he didn't have an accent? No. Okay, yeah. I don't if he know. had an accent, I'd be like, oh, wow, I wouldn't even think it was for us. Yeah, I don't know. People... You know what I've realized oh. because of this show? People don't know how to say the thing that they mean when they come on the show or ask me for advice in one-on-one. They say, the advice I came to you for. And it's like, what? no, you don't provide the advice. You ask things and i give you the advice yeah but th- that's what they mean so yeah. correcting them is pointless they don't right, mean right right yeah it doesn't matter you know it's just like the way people use mm-hmm. the word advice mm-hmm. is wrong oh, almost wow. always they're probably nervous well i make people nervous and i and i frankly i always have made people nervous mm-hmm. and it's just this glint in my eye it's well, my also, vibe you're usually like this. it's my <laughs> it's my vibe right. it's just like no. i contain i possess multitudes you're a menace I put. I obtain. I, I fucking contain. John Malkovich. Multitudes. Were you doing that? No. Oh, I no. mean John Malkovich. I was getting frustrated. I fucking <laughs> contain multitudes. All right. So um, this guy is yeah. great. I am a big speedo guy. He look. You look like you're in. I have a question. Roughly, though. you're in good shape. Not. I'm being like you here. I mm. think. But like, I. I don't know if I fully understood the question. He's mm. saying, should I wear speedos or not? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's it. He's saying, is it okay to wear Speedos at like a, I think he lives in an apartment complex. Oh, of course cool. it is, dude. It is okay. And also like, if you've got that nose thing. You're the man, that, dude. The Speedo is not going to be the thing that people talk about. Right. It doesn't matter if you literally were naked mm-hmm. and had a ball peen hammer swinging from the tip of your fucking uncircumcised John K- Malkovich. <laughs> why, are you, why are you doing it like that? I don't that? know, dude. I'm laying it down today. John Malkovich lays it down. And maybe I'm yeah, just feeling it like I'm it laying it down, down guy, you know? Anyway, if you had a ball peen hammer swinging from uh, the tip of your fucking cock, I would not be looking at that. I would be looking at the thing in your nose. And everyone else would too. In, in the movie, In the Line of Fire, John Malkovich on the phone with <laughs> Clint Eastwood. Deleted if you scenes. had a ball peen swinging around your cock. Deleted scenes. <laughs> um, so what we did here, we cut this one because it wasn't, John Malkovich went off the rails. It wasn't quite, you it know, didn't, make didn't sense quite with, make sense. With, with Goldman's script. I know who wrote uh, it. I think you know who wrote it? I think it's somebody. Goldman. William Goldman wrote that? Yeah. Damn, really? I'm good at that, knowing things. I know things more than uh, that. They but say yeah. he secretly wrote... Uh, Dog Day? No. He they did s- write Dog Day. They say he secretly wrote um, Ben Affleck, Matt Damon. Oh, oh they say it was him? They really? say secretly. But that I think that's a conspiracy, but that's what they say. It's not a conspiracy. It's like a. It's like an unconfirmed rumor. Yeah. That's not quite a conspiracy. No, it's not because that's a thing that people it's have thought a for a while, and they just don't know who did it. I think. Why don't yeah, you think it was them? Because they never wrote anything ever. Yeah, that's, that's that's why. What I think happened is they wrote the script, right? And Somebody Harvey was it. like, "This will be a giant money making machine. Right. If only it was a good script." Uh, so then he was like, "I'm going to hire a ghostwriter uh, who is the man." 
pay that writer a million dollars, but in that payment, right, right, go make straight. sure they don't keep credit. Yeah, you know, mm. interesting. Uh, huh. Because you know, that, made those guys stars, it, huh? That couldn't if that if that's what happened, that could not have worked. Yeah, better. No way. Even close. Like that is the greatest possible. Yeah. One in a million possible. I outcome. know, crazy, right? Anyway, yeah, uh, yeah. Speedos are totally okay. Um, you know, I, I, I uh, also the speedo thing. It's like people are already looking at you, and making comments. Put a speedo on, dude. Yeah, Make exactly. Him, like, yeah. Be like, just you, spread your legs a little bit. Keep going, man. Keep going. Whatever. It's and called. then next time, just, just only wear a condom. Yeah, just a condom. Be like, sorry, I'm trying to get the tan maximized. Only. Also, and then a. a Either another condom, Magnum, mm -hmm. which is the ones I'm familiar with. If you need advice, let me know. Yeah, because you need those. Those are the ones that go in your butt, right? <laughs> and you put them around your balls, mm. which are bigger than typically mm. the bigger than mm -hmm. your dick. And then so you have two condoms dangling. Um, that's it. That's and that's what I got for you. Worst surface. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. Hi, Matt. Hello. Hi, Chris. Okay, me too. Oh, so didn't even Chris, want to say I just it to saw you. you in Salt Lake. So she did. Want so to so good. Okay, rewind it. I want to see how she did it like that. I want to see how she did it like that. I want to see Vince Vaughn. She she did like she did like me because I mean, she went to see me. So let's not say. Hi Matt. Okay. Love Hi you. Chris. Yeah, did, dude, it was like Chris, she was disappointed I just saw in the you show. In Salt Lake. Yeah, but, but she wasn't looking. So good. She's making thank up you. for it now. Thank she's making much. up for it. We had the best time ever. Thank so you. thank you for that. Thanks. She's Split more than one person. Here's my question. Okay. I'm in this mom group text Six. in Six. my neighborhood Test? that cool. Test. I don't okay. want to be in. Oh. And oh, I've better. asked politely to be removed from this group text. Yeah. Three different what? times. Oh, I know what happened. And they won't do it. They and I can't leave on. the text message. Why? You know how you can go in and leave? Yeah. I can't. What? Whoever created it oh, wow. has to remove me. Oh, that's It's hilarious. like a... Uh, what do I do? I've asked three times over the last like two months. Keep getting caught in this group. Dude, text. that's so funny. Keep showing well, I, up. I, I, I didn't know you could not. How do I do it without being rude? How do I ask yet again? Thanks for your time. Well, you've asked. There's a great end shot there. The, you, 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 you asked politely three times, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's very weird. It's like a black hole. Once you pass I, I, the line of no return, you just can't get out. It's like, that's that's yeah. not how it's supposed to it's be. It's like the mafia is you know what, what I mean? it's like. It's like once you're in, you're in for life. I right, feel yeah. like what happened is that... Sure. Um, <laughs> I feel like what happened is... Checking your fucking stats, you know. I wasn't, dude. Okay. Uh, well, I, was trying to think of the, I was trying to think of the term event horizon, but I didn't even need my phone. Baby, baby. Why were you trying to think of the term? Because she horizon? passed the event horizon and is now stuck in the black hole and can't get out. That's baby, why you were on your baby. phone. Yeah, but it didn't need to be. So, but Here. the fucking mafia thing was better anyway. Care. No, no, no. Mine's better because it's smarter. Yours Go is ahead. better because it's dorkier. No, well, it's smarter. Mafia is better because I'm like a real fucking alpha. Yeah, you're a fucking thug, and they're stupid, and they go to jail. Okay, scientists well. and geniuses get lauded and lionized. No, they go to jail too. Look at the fucking. Uh, Bernie Madoff and the girl who did the fucking... He's not a scientist, dude. He's a fucking con man. He's a genius, though. <laughs> uh, okay. I think what happened is you asked... Maybe... Okay, let's put it this way. You've asked three times. So maybe one time it got buried. Yeah, give give it a give, grace give, period of one. One time it got buried. Maybe two times it got buried, but maybe not. Maybe the second time some people saw it and was like, oh, it's not up. I can't remove them. But I, may, I think the person who started it just maybe he hadn't seen it text. Whoever started it, text them and be like, yo, please take me off the group chain. Because here's the problem. If you, the the people who keep going back to that group, even if they take you off or then, or even if they start a new one, mm -hmm. when they go to type it in the thing for the search, the old one's going to come up yeah, and yeah, you're yeah. going to get those texts. Yeah. So you have to go to the person who started the text yeah. and say, you got to take me off this thing. This way, yeah. this text. This way, when any, whenever anybody texts from that, you won't get it. I took it as a given that she went to the person who started it, but maybe you're right. No, maybe she didn't. She probably maybe just she said just it in dropped the... the text. And dude, dropping a text on a chain of yeah. nine people, the chances that even three of them see that text are mm -hmm. low. You know what I mean? Like on yeah. an average, it's like two or three probably see it. I'm on uh, several threads like that because I have a lot of friends and work 
work okay. associates and stuff like that. Okay. So like I have a lot of big, big, big text chains with a lot of people on them. Okay. I have a big social network. Oh, okay. And so I don't, it's like, I don't always see the things and I miss out on conversations. Yeah. And then like a hundred texts came and I'm like, I don't know what, mm -hmm. what somebody said 20 mm -hmm. minutes ago and I'll never know. Cause I ain't mm -hmm. scrolling. Right. Dude, Who I, scrolls? I was on a text chain. I went to, I, I, I didn't look at it for a few hours. Like I was just in the living room and shit, like with my family. Dude, I picked up my phone later. 298 texts on one text chain. Oh, I've, I've had that. I've, I've had that. I swear to God up to like 450. There's this one text chain I'm on Jesus. that is and has been going on for like 12 years or mm -hmm. something with three other of my best friends. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> it's I'll leave my phone sometimes for 30 minutes and I'll come back. There's 400 texts. Oh, my God. It's How nice. many? How many what? People. Four total. Oh, my God. Yeah. So it's just that's three people boring. doing that. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. So that's what I would do. If not, though, you got to drive over to the person. That's the thing. If that person, there. if you go directly to that person and they still don't do it, you got to say, when's a good time to come to you? I'll yeah, meet you, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, meet yeah, you yeah, wherever. Yeah, there you go. You'll hand me your phone. You can look over my shoulder, make sure I don't do anything nefarious. Mm -hmm. And you'll see mm -hmm. how to, also I'll teach you how to, how to get rid of something. It'll, it'll be a lesson. It'll be good for everybody. I'll give you a free lesson on how oh, to use dude, your phone better that's it want a free lesson yeah text that exactly well, of what text removal yeah no just say do you want a free lesson and then then they say for what say it's free who doesn't want a free lesson get them to say yes before <laughs> they know what it is you know you want a free lesson yeah, what is it it doesn't matter you, you want a free lesson everyone's something free sure ding dong you're already out there <laughs> all right so um yeah that's good that's good advice and thanks for coming to the show in salt lake that one actually was a special one thank you also sometimes don't bypass it what i said but yeah sometimes you just gotta be mean if oh, that is true. People don't allow you the respect of being nice, then you have no choice but to be mean. They're not giving you a choice. And you know how you have, you know who you actually have to tell this to a lot. People from Utah. And she was in Salt Lake City because Utah is full of smiles. Okay. And okay, yeah, Ohio, everyone's great. Oh, we were, Wait, you know, Ohio or Utah? She said, oh, no, I don't like that. I liked it. I, I liked it. I didn't like it. I knew you wouldn't like it. That's why I was smiling and nodding before you even said it to get the positivity out of it before I even got the negativity. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> what a dumb shit thing, you know? Yeah, well. All right. Uh oh, you know? Yeah. All right. Next. Okay. What so, is up, Dalia brothers? Handsome. I'm coming at you live from New York City. A beautiful guy. With a pretty tough dilemma I'm in. So, late night talk oh, show. Guy, late night talk show host. About three weeks, and we've been on about uh, three started dates. over. Matt talked over it. He's um, so goddamn. beautiful. Look at right, him, dude. It's, it's like he's a painting in the 16th century. Why is he rewinding it and not just, why don't you just He doesn't it know how to do it, yep. dude. Yep, Mako didn't tell him. It's Mako's fault, not not his. Anthony. What is up, Dalia brothers? I'm coming at you live from New York City. Talk show host. <laughs> with a pretty tough dilemma I'm in. So I've been dating this girl for about three weeks and we've been on about three dates. Um, and she's great. She's beautiful, funny, uh -oh, yeah. uh, great in bed. We really get along well and I really like her. Okay. Except for one thing. Oh boy. She is a horrible kisser. Uh, she kisses with her mouth fully agape, sticks her tongue down my throat, really just doesn't know what she's doing in that regard. Nice. So I'm wondering if at this stage in the relationship, about three weeks, one month in, is it okay for me to make a comment on it and maybe try to coach her on it a little bit? Or should I break things off and try to find a woman who sort of checks all the boxes? Well, don't break I mean, obviously, kissing is a really important part of any relationship and church i kind of take a more <laughs> uh simple and surgical approach to french kissing surgical. so um it's important to me and patrick this is a, Bateman, a dude. big uh thorn in my side so i would love take to sharpen your a knife thoughts on it and thanks so much for the <laughs> podcast guys thanks okay hey. first things hey. first you're a beautiful man hey. second second thing you're a serial killer hey, hey, hey. <laughs> dude uh so go ahead okay so why i i don't uh, well, let me first of all don't break up with her you got to try to change not but you don't want to do it like a sly little devil you just got to say something like hey i i want to try kissing in this one way no. will you try this with me what do you mean no i'm a master at this <laughs> okay <laughs> no, but, but but just be like, you don't want to be like, hey, let me coach you how to kiss. Yeah, I got That's it. That's so rude. I got and it. even if it you even if it's true, it'll alienate her and make her feel like a fucking idiot. You don't want to 
even if she, like you don't want her to think that because that's not even true. She just kisses differently. Now, that being said, I've kissed people who it's as if mm. we learned kissing mm. on different planets mm -hmm. in completely different eras mm -hmm. of our existence. You pull like, away and she's green with eyes. She's holding her eyes. Would be <laughs> less of a surprise than the, the way this, some people yeah. kiss. Oh, that makes sense. It some people goes, kiss. Ang, 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 ang. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Some people kiss. It's like the Mars attacks people. Like the jaw just opens yeah. and then the tongue is just like. Oosh, nice. Oosh, oosh, See, that's my style. Oosh, oosh, oosh. Disgusting. It's so hot it's, to me. It's like it's like a it's like abrasive is what it yeah, is. Yeah, dude. Not not. It's not how people kiss. But I'm into but, but it. here's here's what you got to wonder, beautiful man. Here's what you got to wonder. She's kissed people before, mm. so uh, theoretically, those mm. people also kissed that way. Because here's what never happens. No, she's this, kissing some bitch ass but, dudes. But this never happened. You go to kiss somebody, and you. The, it's because it's your very first kiss. You're insecure. You you Not match me. the way they're doing it because mm. you don't know how to do it. It's it's human nature, of course. That's just like anything else. You're gonna mm. follow the person who knows how to do the thing. There you uh, go. At least in your mind. That, but that and you just answered the question. Maybe that person that she learned on was a terrible coach, terrible kisser, right. terrible leader, whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. and leader. ruined her ability to kiss for the rest of her life. Now, in this instance, no. the reason I painted this picture is that so you have sympathy for her. Talking and you don't want to be like, hey, you kiss bad. Let me show you. You want to be like, hey, you kiss different than me. Can I show you like the way that I do it? Like mm -hmm. it's it's like make it a thing, a fun mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. uh, no. Now go say the wrong thing. That's not right. Go ahead, Chris, and go ahead and do the wrong thing. You, you've been talking too long. You did say the right answer in there somewhere. But not the point. I only said one thing. You said a bunch of different things too. Correct. Because I I contain multitudes. It's true. <laughs> I mean, just fucking gave up. No, it's true. Immediately, I said one thing. No, you didn't. You're right. I say multitudes. In that one thing, there are many budding flowers of other things. Is, is my a point. scientist? Okay. So a botanist. <laughs> botanist so yeah. I got it. I nope. said it first. So I, I got it. I didn't need you there. Well. Um. <sighs> I've got two ideas that you might want to explore. One is. Dude, it's probably not true, but make sure you're not the bad kisser. Yeah, but how do you do that? The only way you do he that got, is... He's got great looks and the lips, and so I doubt it's the him. But, but you it never also, know. sometimes the best looking people have the least clue how to do anything because everybody's been too to. afraid to correct them. And also they don't have to because they're just hot. Right. Sure, but that's another reason why they would be afraid to have to. It's like nobody even approaches them about how they do it because it's like that's why it's they're sexier than me, even though that guy's not sexy. Me, but like, right. you know? <laughs> Josh Lieberman. <laughs> so and not sexy than me, but so um, so what you should do is not what Matt said. Interesting. What you should do is when you're kissing, say, hey, 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 whatever it is, say you want it to slow down or whatever. Slow down. Slow down. Boom. Get in. And then. You know what I mean? The reason I wasn't looking is because I knew you were going to do something. Or, stuff, right? or, hey, hey, hey. I got a cholo, this. A cholo, a cholo, a cholo. <laughs> hey, 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 yo, hey, hey, hey. Playing a Game Boy. Playing a Game Boy. Hey, a sailor. A sailor. <laughs> <laughs> Game Boy so dumb. <laughs> so, so, um. You have to make sure that you're the lead here. You can't say, hey, I want to try, which is what Matt's bitch ass said. Or, hey, should we do it like this, which is what Matt's bitch ass said. <laughs> <laughs> you got to say, hey, check this out. Hey, slow it down. Speed it up. Do like this. Open your mouth. Let me check it out like this. A dentist. <laughs> <laughs> um so <laughs> so um that kind of thing yeah and also then make sure uh deep in your mind that uh it's not you but 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 that i don't know Damn, I, those I, things make me laugh so that, much yeah me too but that, that kind of humor that i don't think that's like inherently not the right i'm hot move. <laughs> it's hot right here in here <laughs> Woo! we're in the summertime here Woo! It's okay. 150 degrees. Yes, dude. <laughs> so go ahead. Uh, <laughs> I fucking forgot. Oh, oh, you, my, you aren't. It's not that you're wrong. Mm -hmm. It's that I'm more right. <laughs> right. So like, you could do what he said. I actually believe that you you could try that, but like, 
there's something like it's sexy. insincere I'm about sexy. that. Yeah, no, that's it's, it's wait tr- me. You're trying to be sexy. And no, no, like, you're not. You know what you like, and you're letting her know. Hey, this is what she would want anyway. By the way, she'd rather that. No, I see. I, this is this is the part, mm-hmm. only part we disagree on. Mm-hmm. I think it's better to be like inviting instead of commanding. Mm-hmm. Right? No, I don't think so. Yeah, and that's clear, and that's why my advice is better. Okay, right. do you want to do the next one? Well, let's do the next one. I guess different advices. Hey Matt. Hey Chris. So I have a question regarding sending nudes for money. I'm just gonna jump right into it. Oh boy. So I have this anonymous person who had DM'd me a few years ago asking for feet pictures. I knew it. I knew Apparently it. I know this person. I went to school with this person. Whoa. He uses an anonymous account, so I, I don't know who the person is. Hmm. So wow. he offered fifty dollars for feet pics and of course I without hesitation yeah. sent Thank you. them. Thank you. As time went on, the request got a little more and more detailed slash explicit. Yeah. So I guess my question to you is if you were, by the way, I'm in a relationship. Uh If you were in a relationship and your significant other was receiving these messages from an anonymous person asking for either feet pics, nudes, videos of me peeing. Oh, boy. um, My face is not in any of these photos. (laughs) <laughs> I just want your opinion. So in our relationship, we have developed a lot of trust. So there's no uh, way that this exchange has gone beyond like an internet communication. Okay. But I get paid a couple hundred dollars. It started with $50 for the feet pick. And then I don't want to get like too explicit. Yeah. I don't want you guys to get uh, shadow banned. But <laughs> wow. another one was like a photo of me in leggings with a camel toe, with my camel toe showing. Right. Um, and then recently he asked for a video a lot more explicit. Right. So that's, I kind of draw the line with okay. some of the. <laughs> All right. We're both <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't even like fully finish. I draw the line at some of his requests. Yeah. Either way, my question is would you feel comfortable if you were in a relationship? And your girlfriend, fiance, or maybe even wife, was sending pictures for money. If you guys are trying to pay for a house, yeah. And what? You guys are trying to pay for a house. Here's the thing. I don't know. Here's the thing. I don't think so. It's actually rather clear cut to me. You shouldn't necessarily be opposed to doing it, but because it's because everything you just said is the truth. You should just involve your husband or boyfriend or whoever and say, this loser lunatic Mm. wants me to send him pictures of my feet and like my pussy outside my leggings. I don't think that's that loserish. You're going to pay for nudes. But it's like some pathetic guy that like she knew. Well, that's the weird thing to me is like if it's somebody you knew, then it feels like he's getting off on Mm. he knows you and you don't know him. And Mm. like he's making you do stuff even though you are married or in a relationship. And uh, this is why you involve the husband and then you you take ownership of it. Yeah. What I'm saying is you don't even have to be like, hey, I have something to confirm. You've already done it too much. So that's I understand that's a problem. But what you should have done is after the feet pick been like, wait a second, that wasn't the right thing i should have consulted mm-hmm. whatever uh, that wasn't the most trustworthy act uh, go to him and, and you should have gone to him and said mm-hmm. hey we can make a little extra money are you comfortable with mm-hmm. this if the answer is no then you don't yeah, do it yeah 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 but if the answer is yes which it could very well be yeah, again if you're trying be. to buy a house every dollar counts right yeah but she was asking us if we'd be comfortable with that and my answer is no absolutely not no yeah. no, no 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 if that's the question no, not even yeah. at all if i learned that about my partner i, w- I mean i would just be like I would be so mad at her. Yeah, me too. I would be so mad. So would I. You know? If they were sending even feet pics, I'd be like, what are you doing? I wouldn't be so mad if it was just feet pics. Like if, if Kristen came to me and she was like, dude, some guy offered me. I mean, she would never do this for $50, but I don't know if she would. But she was like, I, I, $50 for feet, feet pics. I, well, it would be so weird. So I would be like, for $50? Like, so she, if she was like, I give you five grand for feet pics, yeah. I'd be like, why did you do this and not tell me about this? No, That's the I, way I wouldn't have thought that about the feet. Anything beyond the feet? If I, beyond dude, the feet. The way people are about beyond feet, the feet, the foot fetish is so absurd and yeah. disgusting to me. Oh, really? I don't even consider it sexual. It's so ludicrous. It's like, 
right. somebody wanted my girlfriend Pinky. to like pay her f- like like you said five grand mm-hmm. for feet pics of her feet she did it and then didn't tell me i wouldn't even think a thing about it yeah, i'd just be like got it good job you got five grand but yeah, i mean sure. then there's pictures of her vagina right that's not, right right that's right, a totally right. different ball camel toe yeah that's not yeah yeah i agree i agree i agree mm-hmm. actually beyond the feet <laughs> yeah beyond the feet starring <laughs> michael kane and toby mcguire well worst movie of all time um, both of those people in cider house rules yeah movie I, I was imagining they were in a house and talking about you can't keep sending pictures of just your feet. Right. Most boring movie ever. I mean, just I them two. Wait know, a two in line to see that movie. <laughs> um, All right. Directed by. Yes, we would care a lot. Darren Aronofsky. And let me tell you something else. So would every <laughs> other guy. So like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also so would every other woman. No, no, nobody's cool with that. And yeah. I, you know what? I think you know that. Because at the part that you laughed at was right when it was like, it was like you knew the answer that we were going to give you. And oh. deep down, you know the answer that you think. Obviously, that's not cool. Yeah. I'm not saying you're like a fucked up person. No, for no, doing no. Because here's the deal. If you're going to go to your husband, boyfriend, whatever, and say, hey, listen, I fucked up. Yeah. Uh, this guy offered yeah. me money for feet pics. I thought nothing of it because it's just feet. Yeah. One thing turned into another. I, I, I got caught up in the stupid thing. I sent him pictures of me in leggings. I, I, I know it's dumb and I feel really badly. That if if my yeah, yeah, wife yeah. came to me like that, yeah, exactly, I would yeah. be like hurt, but I would I would be very more I would be way more em- empathetic and understanding. But if if you're like, dude, what if it's her husband? I thought the same thing. You thought that before I, me? I did. Yeah, wow. I thought it while she was talking. I was like, it's what her husband mad testing man her. You are, yeah. dude. Uh, for even if she just says time. it and he's like, I know exactly. Shows her the pics, you yeah. know. Uh, then he'd be the fucking asshole. And then I'd be like, hey, that, leave that relationship shit, right yeah, now. Yeah. Um, all right. So you have a bunch of answers and a bunch yeah. of hypotheticals and a bunch of uh, good advices from us. Yeah. That was a good question. Yeah. Great question. And we get why you want it to be anonymous. Yeah. Polish. Steven Soderbergh. What's up, Chris? Wow. What's up, Matt? Uh, congratulations, Chris, on the new addition to the family. Thanks, dude. Cool. Um, Congratulations, Matt, on keeping your life a secret. You guys are sick. Uh, let's get into it. Thank you it. for noticing. Um, a really good friend came to me, and he's been having problems with his best friend of like 14 years. Uh-huh. So a while ago, his best friend was seeing his ex. Oof. He dated this girl for like five years, and then his friend started seeing her. And okay. really messed him up. But That's what he found out. It didn't work out, and then he kind of started talking to him again. Well, yeah. now he just found out he's now dating his most recent ex. Oh, dude. Are you? And he's like, just, yeah. he's going to lose it. He's but spun he up. He was trying really hard not to show it. Like, I could tell it was. Yeah. Up what is bad. up with this other guy? Uh, I didn't really know what to say. All I said was, did you ask him if your wiener tasted good? Okay, well, uh, just to try friend. to make him laugh. But, oh, okay, yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, that's hopefully you guys friend. can give me some much better Wiener. advice to give him. All right, thanks, guys. Dude, that's what is up with this other guy? Uh, I mean, I, that's like yeah, the guy's just got a real big problem. Right, the other guy, the guy that's doing, doing the it. fucking yeah. Uh, the other guy's just like trying to still be friends with him and letting him back in. Like that's like normal. Yeah, that's good fucked person. up. That dude is fucked that up. That guy's terrible, dude. Yeah. Like people, I know people like that. Everybody knows people like that, whether they realize it or not. They know people like that. Mm-hmm. But like, dude, that is not me. Nobody that is fucks poison. my exes. That is a po- nobody. That is a poison person. There are people like that that it's just like doesn't matter. If I found that out. Doesn't matter what's going on in their life. Doesn't matter who they're friends with. Doesn't matter what age Celibate. they are. But they're made out of fucking poison, dude. Yeah, they're such bad people like this. <laughs> and honestly. I don't like that I ha- that I'm saying this, but like you shouldn't even let that guy back in. And the if first they did, place, it wouldn't man. be as good. My shit, dude. Rocked. Shut yeah. the okay. fuck up. All right. I can see your balls, basically. If you do the horizontal with mambo with me, yeah. I'm unforgettable, dude. Okay. Okay. Do you have advice, or you just want to talk about that? Yeah, I do. Find out the guy's exes and try to have sex with them. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so petty. No, I mean, dude. I don't. That's drop that, dude. You're saying fight him? No, no, or no. Drop no. him. Drop him yeah, as a yeah, friend. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, don't ever fight someone. Yeah, obviously. But like, yeah. That's, 
yeah, you don't need that kind of shit in your life. I mean, obviously, but I have you, buddy. I had a buddy that would try and do that. Never was successful because I like again. I lay it same down. guy. I know you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. Yeah, okay. yeah. I lay it down. I mean, did try to me, me too. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's a weirdo. Yeah, huh? that's that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, but I know yeah. more than one person like that. But I know I'm who sure you're we talking do. about. Yeah. yeah. I mean, did it to me. Did it to me. Uh, uh, so you know, I'm talking um, about someone I'm very very close to. <laughs> <laughs> so I know very well. Uh, um. So yeah. No. I. Uh, that's like you know. This is the kind of stuff you know. It happens, but when you hear it, you're like, "What? Well, come on." Um. Yeah, that guy's got to drop the guy. The advice is for him, though. You got to tell the dude to drop the other guy. Well, he's obviously going to do that, but he I is? think I think he is? you're. Yeah. He, okay. Make sure that guy never is friends with that guy ever again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, like, you you have the right instinct if you're trying to cheer him up, make him laugh, and highlight the absurdity of the situation. The the the, the worst thing to possibly draw from that is that that's how male friends are yeah because yeah, that is yeah. not true no most male friends would not do that even in the first place yeah let alone twice in a row and the second time when you're patching things up after the first time like this guy's like a psycho like a psychopath well he's person. probably getting maybe he's even getting off on it which is right then it's right. like you're, yeah. you're a pawn it's, in his twist it's a kink yeah probably yeah which mm -hmm. is so which is weird because it's like that's an interesting question is that like a homosexual kink because like no. the target is the man, no. But the, you're involving the man. But it's not a homosexual kink. Homosexual is dick and butt, and that's it. I mean, I don't agree with that. Yeah, homosexual is dick and butt. Well, I know. No, that's not a one to one. That means guys like a guy. Homosexual a guy like a guy. sex or a girl for a girl. men is a dick and a butt. Yeah, there you go. What do you, you mean? Can be there you go. You can, dude, be, you, know? <laughs> you can be homosexual and not fuck a guy though. You can just right. want to. So that's what I'm saying. It's Maybe about it's a want. weird, circuitous, indirect kink Could of this be guy circuitous. where he's like. He's getting off specifically on hurting the guy, which I'm asking. No, that's, that's not gay. gay. Okay. No, okay. that's just twisted. You know what? If you saw my balls, you'd know. So don't see like you could see my balls almost. I have shorts okay, on. man. All right. If you saw my balls, you'd know. Okay. Well, that's actually true of everyone's balls. <laughs> my, no one. My balls are big. Would look at someone's balls and not someone's balls and not know. But my balls are big. Dude. That's not even good. They're dude. so grotesquely huge. I need to get it checked. And it's not good. Okay. You have elephantitis of the balls? Yep. Cool, man. Like Stan Marsh when he's wheel wheelbarrowing them out around in that one episode of South Park. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that show's so funny. It is. Okay, what's up? We got one more? Um, so Thor. sexy. Thor. What's up, Chris and Matt? I'm the real Thor. I'm just so I'm here in right Asgard. <laughs> and there's no way that that My song is My dad Odin is just being a dick. Adam Levine song. Hey, love and laugh, love and laugh. I'm just love and laugh. Wow. I'm just love and laugh. He did it? Dude, pause it. He Oh, Lost his mind. Uh, my favorite part it? is, because I said it. Look at Thor. My favorite part is people who have not seen the episode where you're doing that, mm -hmm. then saw him do that and are so clueless about what's going on and oh. hate this guy because of it. Because you if hate this guy, no. Oh. If I didn't see your shit though. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'd be like, this guy's a fucking asshole for see, doing I this. I feel the exact opposite. That's funny. I you like would. everything you would. about you him. You would. You would. And start it right, over, please, Anthony. I, yeah, start I over think here. he deserves the respect. He does. He does. He does. Have an uninterrupted for, for the sheer ballsness of it. Look, he figured it out. Chris Marker never would have figured it out. Yep. Mid episode. Well, yep. Anthony's better. Mm -hmm. What's up, Chris and Matt? Just your call. <laughs> I'm just listening right now, and there's no way that that song isn't oh. a Adam Levine song. It's not. <laughs> love right. and laugh, love and laugh. I'm just love and laugh. Wow. I'm just love Look how sexy and laugh. He is. It's really not. E Lost oh. his so sexy. Handsome. He just said so handsome. Handsome. Wow, 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 wow. Love and love and Dude, e wearing no pants. Oh. <laughs> That's the end of the song. Well, I mean, is that he? There's thinks, no advice. He thinks it's actually Adam Levine who sings I that. I guess so. Yeah, he's suggesting the possibility that's Adam Levine while not knowing whether it really is. Oh, Adam song, oh, okay? I thought. He, then why is he doing the e on e on? I don't have any idea. I thought maybe he thought it was a real song that does that. Maybe he does. Maybe he does. Is there a song that, where Adam Levine he said it wrong. Love and Life? He said it wrong. So oh, I'm pissed at him. No, he just said the whole thing wrong. So I'm pissed. Oh. He didn't say it's that song by Adam Levine. He said that it sounds like an Adam Levine song. Okay. And then like, oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. He's writing Adam Levine, Love and Life. Oh. No. No, no, no. That's the, yeah. No. He lied. You lied. He's a sexy guy and you lied. Okay. 
Dude, go to the next dude. Oh, is That's that the next guy? A real guy? Let's do another one. The shit, Scott Wolf. I mean, dude. What up, Chris? What up, what up Matt? Uh, I uh, have a question that I need some advice A TikToker. On, Johnny Bravo. And it is regarding my roommate and I watching hey, Chris, hey, together. Hey, Matt. He does this thing that drives me crazy. Okay. And it, it he takes my hair dryer. talks during the movie, uh, whether it's asking me questions about the movie. Don't ask me questions. This is uh, both of our first times watching. Yeah, it. dude. Thank I you. I don't know the answer. <laughs> That's funny. Or he's just like making that. side comments about the whole movie. So annoying. Also, how a bitch is it to be on a bike that's too tall for you and you're trying to get off? Well, yeah. You gotta yeah. do that thing on your tiptoes. That's you go good. Like this? That's that's bitch. Just wanted to bring that. That is out. bitch. But yeah, thank you. Any advice would be great. Uh, appreciate yeah. y'all. He really understands the he, bitch. He does get the bitch, but he doesn't understand it that he would just say how bitch is it. He said how a bitch is it, and that's not right. It's, it's not just wrong. How bitch is it. It's it. not wrong. I it's not like yeah. I see what that's. Some about. people say so a bitch. That's it's wrong. Just wrong. It, you just say, isn't it bitch? It's so bitch when a guy does it. But he, uh, he's got the right sense of what bitch is. He's right, though, I think. He can say, okay. how's the bitch is All right. right. Either, in either case, he's Johnny Bravo because of his hair. So yeah. In either case, he's Scott Wolf. Okay, so. Okay, Scott Wolf plays Johnny Bravo in the, <laughs> in the fucking A24 film. So, what does he say? Idiot. What did he say? It's okay. called Bravo with Scott Wolf. It's no, my A24. What was the first thing? Him, not you. Hey, I just, uh, my, my legs are too small for my body. Bing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no. Eight twenty-four. You know? Okay. Uh, um, what was his question? Exactly. Are and we talking through movies? Oh yeah, dude. Tell so, him to shut the fucking fuck up. It's that simple. Well, man. I know. I, you know what I do? This is what I do. Because Kristen will just. You do thing. that, man. I do. Yeah, but I do it for the good one. I do the good ones. Everybody thinks they do the good one. But I also pause it when I do it. That's even more annoying when it's someone not. out of, without asking, pauses it. What? What? You know what Kristen does, dude. It will be like a whole scene with no dialogue. Okay. And then a guy will go. And then Chris will be like, did you read the email? Uh, and I'm just like, babe, yeah, he yeah, took yeah. a huge breath. You knew he was going to talk and he didn't talk for. Yeah. yeah. Dude, it's so annoying. Dude. Here's something that it's, it's probably so not true, but it's something I deeply feel what? and will probably never not feel. I feel like. I know when to talk and other people me too. have no idea. No, when me to talk. too. Really? That's weird. Dude, I, I'm, I'm like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's me that too. Guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. Oh, dull, dull moment, ex establishing shot. Is that Drive, guy Dave, the guy that we're talking about? Driving shot. Yeah. D you talk then. Yeah. Action yeah. sequence, you talk then. Uh, yeah. You don't talk when people are like revealing information. Dude, it's insane. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Chicks be really doing that. It even bothers me when I'm watching the Mets. And someone who, like, there's big lows. Yeah, it's annoying. When anyone's big talking. Lows. When anyone's talking. And then talking, Keith annoying. Hernandez starts to talk. Well, and someone's just like, yeah. oh, Matt, did you? And I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. wait a second. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Um, and then and then you seem like a dick when you pause it and go back. And they're like, oh, sorry. No, they talk that, over your thing. Move. That's my move, though. That's my move. My move is when Kristen does that, I go like this. I, I literally go like this. Uh-huh. <laughs> so she knows what's up. But that's... What I just said. Yeah. And yeah, you okay. said it's dick. When they when they act like they're put out when dick you on it. purpose. Good. No, I'm no 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 no. No. What I'm saying the is that you Cesar Milan. When you do that, in your case, Kristen, mm -hmm. if you were to do that and Kristen's like, Oh, I'm sorry, did I talk over yeah, the movie? I, I say yes. That's dick. When yeah, they do that. But, uh, but it's too late. They already they already committed the crime. She's already dick. Yeah. If that happened. It's like they committed added, the crime. It's like in a concurrent additional sentence. Yes, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she should for go to this, jail. She should go to jail for that. <laughs> for, well, for a few days. Yeah, yeah. whatever. A week. No. Um, y y no. Yeah. It's. It's just. It's. It's talking during movies is okay. It is okay. Just do it at the right times. Have this conversation with him. If he's doing it at the wrong times, that's a crime. Yeah. If he's not doing it at the wrong times, if he's doing it when one guy's in a car driving, it's going to be okay. Mm. Action sequence. Yeah, if he does it during lulls, that's on you, dude. Montage. He's doing it right yeah. if he's doing it when there, it's, there are lulls. There's the, it's the art of movie talking, really. But also, what if he's just annoying? He might just be saying the guy's annoying whenever he's... He says his roommate, right? Yeah. So then, yeah, you can't not watch movies with him. So, right. yeah, you just you then do the thing I did. Pause it and turn to him. It'll take six hours to watch the movie, but... Yeah. Uh, that guy's got to know. He'll get it. Okay. And and uh, also there's, I mean, it's just, uh, yeah. I mean, has he had the conversation with him? I don't know. 
Probably not. He got to be like, yo, bro, stop talking during the fucking movie. That's what I said at Do first. Do that at first. Try first. that first. Yeah. Absolutely. Be like, hey, why are you always talking yeah. at, during the times we're supposed to be yeah. listening to something? I'm trying to watch I Love and Live and it's not right. fucking working. Most of the day, you can say anything anytime you want. Why don't you just wait? Stop. I'm doing calisthenics. Okay. So yeah, I, I, uh, I agree. It's horrible. But the guy has a fucking bitch and ass hair. His hair was one of a kind. As far as non-cartoon humans, yep. his hair was tippy top. And for that reason, he's my best friend. Wow. Yeah. I'm going okay. to email him after this. Okay. Oh God, right. yeah. Hi, Chris and Matt. I'm Jason Statham. Uh, Chris, yeah. Big fan. Love the podcast. Love what you guys do. Beautiful yeah. voice. Beautiful voice. Uh, Chris, been a baby for a long time. Hell yeah. Uh, thanks for all the laughs over the years. Thank you. Many more. Wow. Just walking my son. Oh, hey. Oh, cute. Hey. Wow. Look at that. Look at that boy. Um, so, quick question for you guys. My friends here visiting, and we're going to all the movies we watched when we were younger. Uh-huh. I'm 32 years old now. So, in our teens, we used to watch. Um, your Highness, Pineapple Express, uh-huh. Get Him to uh-huh. the Creek, yeah, yeah. Step Brothers, Talladega Nights, you know, right. those kind Listing of every movie. Com- comedies that push the boundaries. How the movies like. And obviously now you don't get anything like that. Um, is there a reason why? Is it the whole woke culture? Uh, yeah. Is it, you know, people are just scared to make you know, movies that push boundaries anymore? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Um, love you guys. Keep up the good work. See ya. Thanks, buddy. You want Adorable know, son. You want to know movies that push boundaries? Look at movies that were made before Talladega Nights, bro. If that's what yeah, you're looking true. for, go further back. Yeah, Don't true. look at stuff now. You want to find fucking movies with cajones, mega big nut sacks? Yeah, yeah. You go back in time. You don't yeah. go to the movie theater in 2023. Yeah, dude. 2023, I mean, everything is made for as many people as possible to go see it, which means yeah. families. Yeah, exactly. Which means a 32 year old right. man is not going to think it had fucking yeah. cajones. I know. And okay? that literally, like in the 80s, they make a, probably made a movie called F- Somewhere. Well, you know what I mean? That's not exactly. I know. We're going to have to bleep that out. For. Bleep you know that out. Saying? But I'm just saying, like, they but, but, didn't give a fuck. No, they weren't, they weren't catering to anybody. They were yeah. just like, we're going to do. Well, whoever. I mean, there's all different kinds of movies. So it's true of comedies, it's true of action movies, it's true of dramas, it's true of horror. You get just way more wild shit being made because they don't feel like somebody's watching them over their shoulder telling them that everything they did is wrong or offensive or bad for this or bad for that everybody was kind of operating with way way yeah, way more latitude, nights is not just a, a way bigger leash he's 32 doesn't know this shit but like yeah but if you go back yeah it's insane just go further back dude don't yeah. don't bother and your kid will be better off for it he'll see older shit have a wider mm. scope of like what's interesting and like he'll have, but, have a bigger cooler brain and you know he'll be better served in but what he's saying is a general generational thing too though there are there will always be that when i was younger things were better no matter what happened. but that's not even what he's saying he's not saying no he's better. not saying that he's but well okay better. i mean i assume that's what he meant but, but he's also objectively correct about movies if he yes. said it about life in general sure that's what everybody says about every yeah, but, generation always right yeah but about movies it's just true it's been yes, it slowly is, yes. defanged over the years to the point yeah. now yeah. that even you know like Everything is either animated, a sequel, or already a popular book mm-hmm. or video game. Mm-hmm. It's not, the original stuff now is like next to zero. Mm-hmm. And when it is adapted, it's way watered down. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just like, mm-hmm. it's, it's tough, dude. But uh, mm-hmm. the good news is you got like, you know, a hundred years worth of stuff made before even the aughts, which are the movies you're talking about mm-hmm. when they were made. So just go backwards, man. Just look at like random lists you find online. Like what's the best of this kind of movie? Yeah, what's the yeah, best of yeah, that yeah, kind of yeah, movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the most like, you know, craziest comedy? Like, I in mean, the your 70s, highness, like, you know the, the movie, most, your highness, you know? But like Blazing Saddles, you want to like no, just but, go back. I know, I'm not talking I, to I know, you. but I am, I'm saying, okay, go ahead. Uh, Yeah, but like, if you want crazy comedies, dude, just like 70s. Blazing Saddles, 70s I mean, yeah. would straight up never make that movie. No, no way, <laughs> dude. And if they did, it wouldn't be Mel Brooks who made it. Yeah, true. True. Um, True. Yeah. Maybe Ben Shapiro's company. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, that's it. Great. Thank you very much, Lifeline. Dude, uh, I'll be in uh, Knoxville, Nashville, and uh, Charlotte and Las Vegas. Let's go. Come through Little Rock, Ar- Little Rock Arkansas. Uh, get your merch at lifelinemerch.com. Sign up for our Patreon to get the extra shows. Uh, Patreon.com, Lifeline Luxury. Uh, and uh, leave a comment. What water you like? What water is the fucking... What, what's wrong with Arrowhead? But also the other bad waters. Dasani, Aquafina, and what else? Yeah. 
Arrowhead's not the worst water. No uh, close. Aquafina and Dasani are. If you want a one-on-one -on -one appointment with me, solve all your problems like that. Uh, Magilia.com, book your session now. Get that merch. What is it? LifetimeMerch.com? You already said that? I did do that. Okay, great. Get your merch or else you hate me. Thanks, guys. Subscribe. Hello. Hello.